So we are in a turbocharged housing market and it can be tough to find the home that you're looking for. With many of these homes, you're hearing stories of people saying that homes are selling before they even hit the market. With some of these homes having over 80 offers, right, Allison? That's right. And so today we're talking about, if you've seen Modern Family, the love of Phil Dunphy's life, residential real estate, right? That's right. And and we're trying to give you a decision-making framework here with three questions that you can ask to help you make this decision maybe a little bit easier and help you control some of those emotions when you're getting involved there. So the first one is uh, what steps should you take before looking for a home? Yeah, so we really want you to be prepared because the market is moving fast right now and you need to be ready. If you're look, looking for a home, you need to be ready to make an offer. You need to be ready to get into a multiple offer situation or even a bidding war. So you want to have that pre-approval letter in place before you start shopping. You also want to be prepared to carry two mortgages for a while if you're not able to sell your existing home before you need to make that offer and make a down payment on the new home. Um, so those are the things we really want you to be thinking about before you even start looking. Yeah. And part of that process is to start a financial plan, start the conversation with an advisor to give you that comfort and peace of mind and understanding this next question, how much can you afford? That's exactly right. So good rule of thumb is about 28% of your monthly gross income towards housing expenses, no more than 36% toward housing debt payments. Um, and really want to look at this in the context of your financial plan, because a lender is going to tell you you can afford much more than we would probably recommend. Um, so you want to think about what are your other expenses, your car loans, student loans? Do you send your kids to private school or daycare? Do you have an in-home nanny? Uh, what annual trips do you like to take and activities? So we don't want to put you in a position where you are, as they say, house rich and cash poor. Yeah, because the, the fear of missing out can cause you to make some difficult decisions and sometimes make you move faster than you really need to. So understanding how much you can afford within the context of your plan, your other savings, where it's going to come from, can really help you slow down a bit to make the best decision possible for you and your family. And then the third one here, it's the down payment, right? A down payment is a, a big portion and, and an important step in acquiring a new home. So uh, where is this down payment going to come from is your third question. Yeah. And as we talked about in the episode, you're not typically able to make what we would call a contingent offer, meaning that, you know, I'll buy this new home contingent on the sale of my existing home. So you want to have the funds in place that you can make an offer and make a down payment right away. Uh, so either that's coming from cash, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, hopefully over the past 12, 18 months, you've been accumulating some money at the bank that can be used towards that down payment. That's the easiest source of funds you might be able to access a home equity line of credit on your existing home. And maybe that could be used for the down payment or a portion of it. If you're a retiree, another option that's available to you is what we call a 60 day IRA rollover. So that would allow you to withdraw front funds from your IRA, redeposit them within 60 days without paying tax on that withdrawal. Um, so that can be a little bit risky because there's always the risk that your existing home does not sell, the sale falls through or something is delayed. Uh, and that would result in a large tax bill. And then lastly, you know, there could be an option to finance a larger portion of it. You know, maybe you're able to finance 100% of the new home value or do what we call an 80-20 mortgage, which would be a 80% primary mortgage and then 20% home equity line of credit on top of that. Yeah, I mean, along with the demand outstripping uh, the supply of homes, the relocation from high cost areas to more desirable areas with uh, better job options. Like according to Rocket Mortgage, Austin, Texas, Tampa, Florida, Raleigh, here uh, in our area, the Triangle, and Nashville are topping that list. Uh, so this is going to continue this idea for uh, some time and you wanna make your best decision. So I hope these three questions can help you do that. We have a lot of other episodes and videos that can help you make decisions around other financial planning topics, diversification, of your investments and uh, even buying second homes because that is another option here in this, this decision. Thank you for bringing your best Phil Dunphy impression, Allison. And uh, you can check us out here every two weeks. You can subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode. Thanks for joining us.